Hey there, everyone. Today, uh, this is Travesty. Haven't seen me in a while, and you probably haven't seen any content coming to the YouTube channel in a while, and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna have a brief talk about that and go about that whole entire process. But yeah, Happy New Year to everybody. It is now January 1st for me, and it's quite late into the day, so I think everybody, it's New Year for everybody, so I can safely say Happy New Year without somebody saying, well, it's not in my time zone. But, <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. I hope 2017 is a great year for each and every one of you that are watching it, and for each person that isn't even watching it. They don't have to watch it. As you can probably hear my cat playing with his toy in the back. Um, but yeah, this is like an update. This kind of just give you guys an idea of what my New Year's resolutions are going to be and what my goals are going to be. Before that, I do want to take a look back into 2016. 2016 has been a weird year for me, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, I still continue to do YouTube. I was doing Pokemon League challenges. Well, not League challenges, but draft format. Um, and I was winning and getting into playoffs. Uh, I was at least getting into playoffs, no matter what. I, I still feel like I'm really good at Pokemon if I want to be. Um, but yeah, I'm... That was something that happened. That was always great. It felt great because every league I got into, I knew I was at least going to get into playoffs, it felt like. Um, second and foremost, I got to start shoutcasting again, which has been something I've missed dearly. I haven't been able to do that for a long time and Completely kind of became a home for me. If you guys haven't tuned in for one of our streams over at Compete League, I really recommend it, even if I'm not casting because all the guys there are actually really talented and it's... Honestly, there's not some, there's not a single person there I feel like I have a beef with, and that feels absolutely great because, especially in a larger group like that, you know, opinions are going to, people are going to butt heads and stuff like that. But everybody's mature enough to not uh, let something like that get to them. So that is something else that I really love about Compete League. It's very mature, and honestly, everybody just wants to put out the best content and continue to push themselves and push the envelope on what it means to be informative but also entertaining. So, yeah, but yeah, Compete League, uh, I believe we're going to be starting back up with our next season soon. Uh, but yeah, that became a home for me. So I definitely thank all the people at Compete League, even if uh, they were to like halfway through the season, just about Travis we really don't need you anymore. I would still be very thankful because I was presented with uh, quite the opportunity. And I met some cool people like Guster, Sourcat, uh, Magical Voice, Protroid, Primus, Dizzy, just to name a couple of the few, uh, I'm probably mispronouncing Seracos. That guy is probably one of the hardest working people I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody put in the time that he does to make sure that Compete League succeeds. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely, I love Compete League and it's become like a home for me. So that was another good thing in 2016. Uh, also, I started streaming more. That's another big thing for me. Uh, I've started streaming more so in the past couple weeks. I'm closing in on the 50 follower mark, which makes me feel really happy. You guys don't understand how happy I get when I stream and I have a chat. And I actually fell in love with streaming over YouTube because of the fact that, honestly, when I stream, I get to interact with the people that are watching. With YouTube, I upload a video and I might get a comment here or there, but a lot of times people just watch when you're smaller they're just watching pop alike and that's all you really see and i like the discussion i like to talk to people while i'm playing so that's a another thing that's going on i mean i did i finished pokemon coliseum and had a blast playing through it it was so much fun uh and now we're doing dark souls which is absolutely crazy we're having so much fun playing through this game and it's absolutely lovely. I got to, I rebranded, I've got two different icons now for my channel over at Twitch. I've got one that was provided to me by Sarcasm Sickness. I commissioned her and she put out absolutely phenomenal work. And then I've got one from Whitney, which is AKA Lady Kubu, who did an amazing job making my character into something from Final Fantasy, which is my favorite game series by far. Uh, so yeah, I have, everything that I would love in terms of image for my channel and it makes me so happy to be able to express that. Uh, so with that being said, those are the positives. You kind of have to look at the negatives too. Uh, if you guys remember, I was actually sick for an entire month from August to September. Uh, I had pneumonia. I was in the hospital for a bit and I was 
pretty bad off for a bit. Um, I, I was sick from August into September. I didn't actually finally recover until the end of September. And with me being sick, and I kept getting sick afterwards, it kind of put me in a spot where in the first time in me playing the draft format and stuff like that, I found myself in a position where I was unable to do anything uh, when it came down to leagues and stuff like that. And I feel bad for it. I really did. But when you're sick, you're sick. And I had to take care of myself. And I needed to focus on me. But I, the, the person I am doesn't let me focus on myself. So I continued to push myself and I continued to get sick again. Fast forward to October, my mom went to the hospital. My mom was in the hospital for about a couple days. She was in the hospital for about three to four days. And she was gone. Then in November, we had some unfortunate deaths in the family. Uh, I'm not going to say who or what their relation was to me out of respect for the people who had to deal with this. And it was pretty rough. And I mean, I wasn't even able to go to the memorial service for it because of work. Um, work has been a harder thing for me. And it was just one of those things where definitely I felt bad, but definitely it was something else that happened. And I just felt so distracted, especially from August to November. And then December is when I finally started getting into the groove of streaming again. And it's just been something that's been keeping me up in my spirits. And it's been absolutely great. So what that leads, besides the sob story and all the sad events that have happened, uh, it leads us with something else that's actually very positive. We are in the year of 2017, and it's also known as a year of new beginnings for a lot of people. Now, if I think of a new year, I think of New Year's resolutions that aren't going to be kept. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't think many people keep their New Year's resolutions anytime past the first two weeks, it seems like. Um, however, mine are much more personal and is definitely something I'm putting out there as a video to kind of remind myself if I ever lose my way. I can go back and click on this video more so than anything. And even you guys, you guys can click on the video and say, Hey, Travis, don't you remember you said this? And it will be kind of like a recall experience for me. 2017 is going to be a year that I really want to be much more selfish. Uh, that's going to be the weirdest thing probably you're going to hear as most people are going to be, Oh, I want to be giving. I want to be nice. I've done a lot of that. And I'm giving so much time to getting giving to people. And I never expect anything in return. And I still don't want to expect anything in return. I don't want to change my mentality on that because you shouldn't give an expectation to receive. That's not how my way of looking at it is. Uh, but with that being said, even with that being going through my head and stuff like that, I want to focus on growing myself. I have not focused on my own self growth. I haven't focused on my own health. And it's been something that honestly, I really need to. So when it comes down to it, I'm going to focus on Twitch more. Twitch is one of my main concerns. Uh, the, get, the goal for that is to honestly just get a consistent schedule. I have streamed every day this week, but casting's about to start back up. So that means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays are going to be big ifs again. And well, that's fine because I love casting. Uh, I still love streaming and entertaining people on my own individual basis. So I've got to figure out how to do that and also balance all the games that I do like to play because I can't stream right now with multiplayer games because of the fact that my internet connection is honestly just trashed when I stream. So uh, multiplayer games until my internet gets better, can't do that, which is completely fine in that regard. Next off, uh, big game plan is honestly just to just continue to entertain. Like, I know I just said I'm going to be selfish and stuff like that, and that is still me being selfish because there's honestly nothing that makes me happier than to see everybody else in my chat and Twitch happy, enjoying themselves, laughing, cutting up, and just having a good time. Next stuff is going to be, I'm going to exempt myself from any Pokemon draft format. I still get offers a lot, even though I have not done a draft format in quite a bit now. I still get quite a few offer offers from people in the YouTube community that come across my channel. Like, oh, you play Pokemon. Oh, you were, you've were you won leagues. Oh, you 
made playoffs quite often. Oh, such and such said you're really good. And I just want to say no to those. The reason why is I'm not afraid of losing or anything like that. But I can't give the time to the people that really want that want me there. And I feel like that is disrespectful towards the owners of any leagues, the owners of all the teams there. And much more so, it's much more disrespectful towards you guys for tuning in and wanting to see uh, said content and not be able to... What's the best way to... Being told that this content's coming and it's not coming because I'm just not focused on it. Uh, maybe I'll do something where it's a Twitch stream or something like that. And maybe I'll step back into like an analyst role. But I have no plans on making any content when it comes down to league format or anything like that. Um, I'm still happy to do videos on YouTube. However, all my videos, like personalized content, is probably going to be stuff from Twitch if I do do anything. Now, does that mean I will be exempting myself from playing with other YouTubers and making cameos in their videos. No, if they want me to jump into a showdown live session or something like that, I'll be more than happy to do that. I definitely don't mind playing Pokemon still, and even if they were like, hey, let's do such and such, just do such and such, I will be completely fine with working with anybody else. However, when it comes down to content like a draft league format where I'm going to be expected to upload my own battles on a consistent basis, I'm going to stay away from that because I don't feel like I'm able to make that commitment, and I don't want to cross anybody like that so yeah that's basically the big parts of it i want to be selfish and i just want to focus on my own growth there's things i do want to do like i want to overhaul the look of my twitch and make it look very uniform uh create a schedule of some shape or form instead of being hey guys twitch I'm going live in 15 minutes. <laughs> then everybody's just like, oh, you're going live? I, I might be able to make that. I got my cousin's bar mitzvah to go to, but, you know, that that can wait because your stream is just that important, Travis. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to be sure to look into that. Um, we got a new computer and stuff like that. And we've been, we've been having a blast streaming some games, honestly. So with that being said, I'm going to be tuning out here uh, before I leave and go off to do whatever I am about to do because I honestly don't even know myself. I want to ha say Happy New Year's to everybody and I want to give a shout out to all the friends. If I miss you guys, just drop a comment or hit me up and you guys already should know who you are before I even start mentioning names. First and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to Emmy Chan for always being there. Um, honestly, Emmy Chan throughout from January to December has been probably one of my greatest friends. It, whenever I felt down or depressed or something like that, she encouraged me, she brought me back up, and she was the one to honestly redefine the word loyal for me because no matter what, she's been there. And she's been a great friend, and I hope to always be there for that person just because of how much she personally has done for me. Because if I was ever down, she brought me back up. If I was upset she would be sure to be there to spend time and hang out with me and she would put off Tom to decide to be able to make sure I was okay so big shout out to her uh, Garly for being the entertaining Asian asshole that we all love but <laughs> uh, I, he streams all the time if you guys don't know be sure to check him out he's a great guy a good friend of mine and honestly the back and forth that me and him get to have and all the fanfics that me and him get to create um <laughs> Are honestly always phenomenal. I want to give a big shout out to Eternal Souls for stopping by the streams whenever he has the opportunity to because honestly the dude is always busy from what he tells me but whenever he comes it's always a blast. I always enjoy seeing him pop up in my Twitch chat because he's all, I understand that he is taking time that is his free time to come and see me. Uh, Kuro as well. Same thing with this guy. This guy always pops up to my stream whenever he can it seems like and honestly it's just he, it feels like it doesn't even matter what game I'm playing. He's just playing along with me, and he's having fun too, and I really enjoy that. It's great to have uh, somebody who watches and enjoys the content, so they want to tune in and tune uh, when they whenever they see me go live, depending, no matter what the game is. Uh, shout out to Lady Kubu and Sarcasm for the commissions that I put in for you guys for doing everything that I wanted on a commission and even more. If you guys ever need any commission work, please go to these two. These two are absolutely phenomenal. 
and they absolutely do the finest of work and they won't let you guys down um so yeah definitely go to either one of the two and like i said they're they they've given me the artwork that i really want to stick throughout the time that i continue to do twitch and whatnot I want to give a shout out to everybody who I honestly interact to, whether that be uh, Mocha, who has been somebody I've talked to recently that honestly is very nice and very kind and jumped, has recently been trying to jump into my streams and has been just a pleasure to talk to. Uh, Mega EV, aka Alexa, thank you for always joining in. I know sometimes you get a little down and stuff like that, but you're strong, all that good stuff. And I want to just honestly say thank you to everybody, whether it be everybody in Compete League, from Sourcat to Guster to MindMesser. Uh, big thank you to MindMesser for giving me the opportunity to shoutcast again, because honestly, that was that's such a big thing for me. Um, shout out to Dizzy, to Primus, to Magical, uh, Protroid, uh, Ender. All these people I've casted with that are absolutely great and phenomenal. If you guys don't already know them, be sure to look them up. I'm sure you guys can find them or you can look at anything I've done and you can find them. Thank you guys again. I'm running this video super long because of all these thank yous. But honestly, I can't thank these people in 2016 enough. My cat is like right here. Look at him. Look at him. Just itching the cat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys made 2016 somewhat survivable. <laughs> and hopefully you guys will stick around for 2017. And I can't wait to grow alongside and see what other people we get to bring along into 2018. Thank you guys again and peace. I'm out.